from Maxwell's House of Music to the Repair Land. I'm guitar tech Steve Robbins. And this week we're uh, going to talk about a question that came in of how do I intonate my guitar? So to do that, it's a pertains mostly to electric guitars. Acoustic guitars are pre-set up from factory and pretty much cannot be intonated. But the other question is, what is intonation? So intonation is you first tune your guitar to a, if you tune to an open E standard, so it's E, A, D, G, B, and E. And you come up here on the 12th fret, which there's the two dots, indicator dots that show it's 12th fret then you press down on this string and I'll put a tuner on it. Well, you won't be able to see it, but anyway, if it's tuned to E here, it should be tuned to E here as well. So it's like taking this section and moving it down to this section. It's from 12th fret to the saddles. And how do we change this? Well, this is pretty much set by the fret length, but this section here is what we're going to be changing to get the intonation set correctly. And why is it important for intonation, setting intonations? Because it's crucial when you're in performance that, you know, we all, whenever we start, before we start to play, most of us should and would uh, tune our guitars so that we're all in tune. And if you're in tune, that's one thing. But if your guitar is not intonated, when you play up the neck, then you're not in tune with other people. So we all want to be in tune in this section of the guitar and in this section as well. And it's, I don't know, but I was told it's more crucial when you're recording. So now we're going to intonate this guitar. This is a very nice PRS CE guitar. The color is emerald, custom emerald it's a beauty from the land of Wizard of Oz. And how you do this is like, a, let's start off by tuning the guitar just to the open E standard. I like using two tuners. Sometimes this one is not snark, is sometimes not so sensitive like on basses and stuff. So I always like to check one tuner against the other as a setup for people. You yourself, you probably tune with the snark and be happy for, uh, you know, for playing and recording as well but so anyway we're, we're going to do the tuning this is e as you can see the e is a little flat so we're going to bring it up so when it's to this side of your green dot it's flat and so you have to tighten the string to to make it better uh make it in tune so now we we know this section's in tune, so now we're going to go to intonating. So again, we go to the E. Now on this snark, it's in tune. And there it is on the other as well. Let's see. So it may be a little sharp because we are getting the yellow on this. That's why I use two tuners to kind of compare the two. So when it's sharp, the saddles are here. You have to take the saddle back, lengthen this. Sharp means this is too short, so we're going to lengthen this. And how you do that is, uh, I'm going to do this to this guitar first before I scratch a paint job. I'm going to put this down. That's what some of your uh, used notes are good for, is to uh, make a guard for the paint job. So we're going to tighten it. And I know people say righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we're really going to be righty tighty is going to be clockwise. So I turn it about a quarter of a turn with a screwdriver and then I go back and check it again. And it's still sharp. So we're going to do this again. by changing this, this also changes the uh, the open string. So we have to every time go back and re-tune it. Now there. Now we we by adjusting this one farther away from this from the neck that uh, brought to it, you know made it flatter instead of sharp. So, and then you just do the same thing across the other five strings. So, I hope that helps you and. Thank you for uh, putting in your questions and do that in the future. And uh, I'm Steve Robbins, your guitar tech, and see you again next week.